Do you want a cornbread recipe that is simple to make and is the perfect side dish for any southern meal? A homemade cornbread recipe that is loaded with bites of sweet kernel corn, diced jalapenos, and a hint of honey. Hey there, my name is London Brazil from EvolvingTable.com where you'll learn how to make nourishing meals for your loved ones. And that healthy recipe today is this homemade honey jalapeno cornbread. For years I have turned to the boxed or bagged mixes that you normally find in the store to make cornbread. But a few weeks ago we had some friends coming over for a dinner party and I wanted to make some from scratch. I started experimenting and the first batch came out too crumbly. The second batch was just a little bit too mushy. But this, this recipe y'all, this recipe is the best cornbread that you will ever taste and it's so simple and easy to make. It's a little sweet, a little spicy, and has the absolute best texture. Take a look and see what some of our friends had to say. Now, usually the crust is too dry on cornbread, but in this, it's moist throughout the entire piece of cornbread. Incredible. So if you're ready to get to cooking, come on in and let's get started. Before we start mixing, make sure to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Just like in most quick bread recipes, we'll be mixing our wet and dry ingredients in two separate bowls. For the dry ingredients, we'll start with one cup of cornmeal. Medium grind cornmeal is coarse enough to give you a little texture, but not so coarse that the bread is too crumbly. Add one cup of cornmeal with one cup of all-purpose flour or a gluten-free one-to-one -one blend with two teaspoons of baking powder, one teaspoon of baking soda, and one teaspoon of salt. Whisk until well combined. Now that our dry ingredients are combined, let's move on to preparing the wet ingredients. Add two large eggs that have been whisked, or you can also use flax eggs if you are vegan, with one cup of milk. Almond and cashew milk work great too six tablespoons of melted butter or coconut oil if you're vegan, and one fourth cup of honey. If you would like, you can also use pure maple syrup in place of the honey. But I think that the honey pairs wonderfully with the cornbread. So that's what we'll be using here today. Whisk together the wet ingredients. Add dry ingredients to wet ingredients and stir until just combined. Now it's time to add just a little bit of spice. Finely dice either one or two jalapenos depending on your desired spice level. You can also leave them out completely if you or your guests do not enjoy spice. Add diced jalapenos and half cup of canned sweet kernel corn to the cornbread batter. Stir until just combined. Pour cornbread batter into an eight or nine inch square baking dish that has been sprayed with non-stick cooking spray. Spread the batter into the dish until smooth and sprinkle with a few extra diced jalapenos if desired. And now we're ready to pop this cornbread into our 350 degree oven for about 30 to 35 minutes. You'll know the cornbread is done baking when the edges pull away from the baking dish and the top begins to crack. Oh my goodness, this smells so, so good, y'all. And my Texas accent is gonna start coming out because this cornbread just reminds me of home. It's full of spicy, beautiful, bright green jalapenos and loaded with little bites of sweet kernel corn. This is totally optional, but I'm gonna make this just a little bit more Southern by slathering on some butter and drizzling with a touch of honey. Okay, this definitely needs a fork now. Time for me to take a nice big bite. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about there. Mmm, 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 mmm. Man, that is good. I guess I'll have to set some of this aside so that Cole and I don't devour this before our friends come over tonight for dinner. Oh, I have so many corn chunks in it, or like. Killed it, London. If you liked what you saw here today, make sure you check out these other healthy side dish recipes. And don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up below. Hit that subscribe.
subscribe button so you don't miss another nourishing meal to serve your loved ones. See you again soon.